This is the um when I ain't got no juice juice. I like to mix this laundry detergent with game because it stretches it. And it's by Hallmark. That smells when I mean this smell like a baby. <laughs> Some brand new tunes, little white lies gonna catch me soon. With some old shoes and some bad tattoos, making our name for the things we do. Little white boy with some brand new tunes, little white lies gonna catch me soon. With some old shoes and some bad tattoos, making our name for the things we do. Living for the masquerade, and I might have misbehaved, but I'll take it to my grave. Never said that I was brave, never noticed what I gave. in the car wash do you see this it's like i'm gonna say it's a quarter to 12 so it ain't quite vlogtober day 8 yet but it's almost there and i ain't even close vlogtober day 7 yet ain't that something but i don't went food shopping as y'all can see so i'm gonna do a little grocery haul for y'all to let y'all know what i bought and if you watch my vlog day 7 vlog I bought a special person something to you know try to make them feel better because of their, their child being a, a complete douche to them so I just want them to know that you know someone cares so I got her something that I already had it I did I did an unboxing on it I already had it, but I'm going to give it to her now because I feel as though she needs it. You get what I'm saying? But I just wanted to come up here since I'm sitting in this car wash waiting for it to get finished a quarter to 12 at night. I just thought I'd come up here and start the vlog so I don't start it in my house like I'm always, I'm always in my house. Always in my house. Y'all never see me out and about. Because I'll be a little shy. A little shy. But I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. It's a journey, baby. This is what it's all about. It's a journey. But until I turn this camera back on until the next clip, happy Vlogtober. Your girl is doing it, okay? I'm doing it and doing it and doing it. <laughs> but anywho, check y'all in the next clip. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, welcome back. This is the next clip because I already started the clip when I got in the, well, I was in the car wash. But anywho, I'm going to show y'all what I bought from Walmart, in my little Walmart haul. It ain't much. I just went there basically to get wrapping paper, tape, a curtain rod, and school snacks. But along while I was there, I picked up a couple of little other knickknacks. You know when you ever go to the store for shopping for something, you you always get the something you need and more, or you either forget the something that you need to get and get everything else. But I got everything that I went in there for and then some. I spent... $79.50. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got. Okay. Start, let's get this out the way. I got the, the nacho cheese Doritos. The um Halloween ones, all, all Doritos. Cause my baby, he don't, he picky. Just like his mom. So he only so it, it defeats the purpose of me buying a variety bag of chips because he don't eat like he used to eat cheese dudes when he was younger, but now that he older he ain't off the cheese dude situation. So it defeats the purpose of me getting the variety pack when he only likes these. So I'm happy they got this little you know, thing with 26 free size. Pure heaven. Then I got me some Sara Lee honey wheat bread. I 
I got two rolls of paper towels. I got a mango minute maid. I'm telling you, this it give me heartburn. I ain't gonna even hold you. It give me heartburn. But this juice is so delicious. So delicious. I used to like the tropical punch, but then I got a taste of this and it changed my life. And you know it gotta be good because I still drink it, heartburn and all. I had me some Tums or some Rolade. Then of course, I got this good stuff, the Italian creamer. Attack my bad, Italian sweet cream cream. I don't really like putting sugar in my coffee anyway, but with that, you don't need no sugar. Well, that's my preference. When I put some of that in there, you don't even need no sugar. But it's probably because I just don't like sugar in my coffee anyway. Like, the other day I was telling my best friend I ain't had no cream, so I put me two scoops of sugar and some black coffee and drunk it just like that and I was fine. The thing is, you could drink if it's good coffee, like y'all know my coffee, let me For you that don't know this coffee, baby, I could drink it black with two scoops of sugar. I sure can. Then I got some Kool-Aid drinks. I usually get Capri Suns, but the way mama set up, mama saves. I got me these Kool-Aid jammers for my baby. Because they was only $1.68 as opposed to $2.32 for the Capri Suns. Yes, I, I know these prices. You have to when you need to shop on a budget. So, what I said, that one was Tropical Punch. And this one is Charcoal Berry. Strawberry Orange Punch. And this was a dollar and sixty eight cents. Too. Then I got my baby gonna go nuts. Child, the Avengers they got crackers, well cookies, shortbread cookies. These cookies is delicious. Shortbread cookies change your life. I might have me a, it's a twelve pack, and this was three ninety eight, I think. And it ain't bad because I usually get the Scooby Doo. The Scooby Doo ones is like the graham cracker ones, but he gonna he gonna knock them out. Then I got me a box of yellow Goya rice. I got me some Great Value Concord grape jelly. Then I also got me some Great Value crunchy peanut butter. See, a lot of people like creamy peanut butter. It's something about that crunchy. I'm telling you, it's something about that crunchy. Peanut butter, it do something to you. Then I got this Hawaiian Punch Lemonade. I always get one of these big things because this, this is the, um when I ain't got no juice juice. You know when you done drunk all your good juice and you ain't been to the store and you just need something to drink, some juice or something, because I always got water, bottles of water on deck. But you need a swig of some juice, this thing ain't got no juice juice because this big thing was a dollar and ninety eight cent. You can't go wrong with that. It let it's not don't be don't get me wrong. When you know you about to run out of juice, you better put the Hawaiian punch in there a week before. Okay, because I don't know for some reason it take Hawaiian Punch a week to get cold. It'll be in there two, three days and it still ain't cold. I know I'm not the only one. I know I can't be the only one. But that's just <laughs> what happened to me. It may not happen to you, but I know Hawaiian Punch take about five to seven days to get cold. I'm almost done. Then I got 
this thing of mini cookies of the Chips Ahoy and the Oreos. Now, I had got the other one that had the animal crackers, the Teddy Grahams, and these two in there. And my baby, like, he need to eat animal crackers because it don't got a lot of sugar in it, but it still got sugar. But he preferred these, so I give him a treat and his snack for um when I put it in his lunchbox for school. He don't be needing it, but your girl be... You know, I like snacks, so I'm not going to deprive my baby of snacks, but he will be limited to the amount of snacks he will get from mom. And I also got this pack of chicken breasts of Tyson, and it was $4.45, so I got that. I'm going to put it back in the bag, though, for when I put it in the freezer. Then, I got a bag of laundry detergent. I like to mix this laundry detergent with game because it stretches it. I'm just going to be real with you. This is good stuff. This is good laundry detergent. It's just cheap. And like this, it, it washes your clothes and your clothes smell clean, but gang, give it that extra little mm. And I used to just get this and then use like the gang fabric softening dry sheets, but I get the knockoff dry sheets by Great Value that smell just like gang. And then I'm gonna show y'all the fabric softener that I'm I'm all over now. And you put a mix in with this and a little bit of gang, man, I'm smelling. It be having your clothes smell, smell like you washed it with all gain and not all knocks or some knock off and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Not a concoction of what is what I'm trying to say. But I got that. And I also got, because I told y'all I'm going to, um, I got a gift that I'm giving this special person. So... This is what I'm going to, oh, 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 she making a mess. This is what I'm going to give her. I ordered this off of Amazon Prime, my favorite thing. And it's, um, some, um, what you call these things? Ornaments. They Irish like ornaments. I don't know. She's Irish and Italian. Her favorite, um, her two favorite holidays is Christmas and St. Patrick's Day. And boom, baby, you got the best of both worlds. You got ornaments and it's something like Irish St. Patrick's, boom. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all this. When I give people gifts, I'm very, very, thoughtful when i talk to you i listen i listen to the things that you like i listen to the things that you don't like i listen to the things that you like to do and the things that it is that you don't like to do i'm not just one of them people like oh i'm just gonna buy you something that i just because just oh just, just pick something up and give it to me. no that's not me i take my time and actually think about it so but anywho I got her this card from Walmart. It says, I want y'all to see it. And it's by Hallmark. And it says, you touched my life in so many ways. It says, you have such a good heart. You're always saying something thoughtful or doing something kind. And today I want to be sure you know how very much you're appreciated. And that's what that looks like. So yeah, I'm gonna give her that. And I'm also gonna write something thoughtful in the card. What I'm gonna write in the card, I don't know yet. I'm gonna think about it. And I also got two wax melts, 94 cents a piece, can't beat that. Now this pumpkin spice, baby. A lot of people don't like pumpkin, like 
pumpkin fragrant stuff because sometimes it could be a little bit overbearing but baby i love it i love it and last time i had got these apple cider donut wax melts when i mean this smell like a bakery i be thinking oh it's cinnamon all up in my house well my all up in my little apartment them smell delicious delicious then i got this little bow to put on it after I, um, I wrap it. I got some invisible tape. Then I got, this is the fabric softener. I told you that this smells so, 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 so good. I'm telling y'all it changed y'all life. I'm I know y'all sick of me. Tell I'm telling you, this stuff will change your life. Listen to me. I ain't used to listen before or used to be like trying, you know, certain things or be like, oh, I'm only doing name brand stuff. Uh-uh, baby. Certain things knock off stuff be better than the name brand stuff. And honey, I know because it changed my life. I got me some red onions. I got my baby a pumpkin. We got some paint in there somewhere, I think. And we're going to, I'm going to let him paint this pumpkin. I don't know. I just got excited about painting the pumpkin. Ooh. I got some cheese. Yellow American cheese. And a jalapeno. Almost done. I got me a curtain rod. It's by Mainstay and it's 48 to 84 inches. I got this so I can hang, finally hang my curtains up, but I ain't gonna hang them up right now because I still gotta get a decorative pillow to match it. And I also have to get the thing so it can, the little command things so it can stay up on the wall. I can't screw it up there, but you know, when you move out of places, they, they take off and all that other stuff. So nope, your girl is going to use the command things I'm like, boop, pop it up there. Then last but not least, your girl got this wrapping paper to wrap the gift. So, guys, that is the end of this grocery haul, what is it, Gro miscellaneous, grocery, whatever, a little bit of this and a little bit of that haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comments and subscribe and hopefully wherever you at you having a good morning a good afternoon a good night and a good evening whatever time of the day it is and happy vlogtober day eight happy vlogtober day eight your girl trying to get these videos out here Vlog 7 is going to be late. It's going to be posted on Vlog Vlogtober Day 8. I'm going to have to post two. But she going to be up here by the end of the night. I threw a bonus up there earlier so y'all could see that I wasn't playing. We ain't had no gas. No gas. We finally got gas. Oh, let me tell y'all. We finally got gas tonight. A quarter to nine. Since Saturday, about 2 o'clock. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, which is tomorrow or later on today, I'll catch you guys later.